what's, what, what can be worse than that? What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We are here. <laughs> Where's your laptop? Oh, yeah, Jesse. Yeah, we're going to watch a video right here. Yeah, we're going to start here, dog. So this yeah. is episode 31. We're doing something really we're special today. We're doing something really special. We got to we gotta show love. Yeah, we got to show we, love we shout out. to the Canadian brother. Yes, and the hot gang. We're doing this live on the podcast because normally we do our reaction videos. This is where we watch videos and we react <laughs> and you get to see our reaction to it as opposed to here where you hear our opinions and we react to real life and everything else that's going on in the world. <laughs> so this is exciting because I feel like they're both going to intertwine. Word. And JP should be taking over any minute now because I don't I do don't it. even know what we're talking about. Okay, what I'm Bro, talking about... you are about, on fire. What I'm talking, another job, it's it. He's on. Look at what him. I'm talking, talking about is we're going to start this show with Hog Gang, not a commercial, <laughs> with Hog Gang, and Tom McDonald has a brand new song, and I'm excited because... I'm going to explain more. Because he excited. exploded the internet this week. No, no, no. That's not like, why I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm going to explain more after we actually watch this video live. Uh, you watch it with us live. I, I'm excited I, because I feel like I've been waiting for Tom McDonald to play his card every video we watched. And I think he finally did. Yeah. So I finally get to and, comment. And look at him. He's crossing Because I finally the... get to be... Yo, Listen. We're all about honesty, our honest opinions. We don't give a shit. That's why it's called offended and unfriended. And I think this is excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm fucking. I, I have not I, heard it yet. So I'm let's... stoked because I think this is it. He he finally got on the offended and unfriended wave. Can I just explain Good. to you that He's I love there. that you guys haven't heard this yet? Me too. I love it. Or seen the video. And yes. I'm black, so I can't be a snowflake. I can't be offended no, anyway. I, I love that you guys haven't watched it yet. <laughs> Because you said we wanted to do this. this is yes, great. I love it. All right, I'm starting. Ha, gang, ha, gang. Three, Make two, sure one. Because I bet you this is going to knock. Knock, knock. If you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. But when they lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. You think taking guns away will save our kids from the killings? But you're pro choice. Abortion kills way more children. If America's so terrible and racist, it probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. Just saying, all the contradictions are embarrassing. You know who hates America the most? Americans. Trigger warnings used to be on TV for seizures. And now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. He, she, his, him, hers, them, they. Screw a pronoun, cause everyone's a retard these days. I hear him preaching at the protest that hatred's the problem. But hating straight men, white folks, and Christians is common. Coca-Cola telling people they should be less white. They preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight. There's a race war here, elections based on fear. Black lives only matter once every four years. Soldiers died for this country, and every one of us benefits. Give welfare to the bums and forget about the veterans Black folks and white folks divided by the news But we are all the same, we are red, white, and blue Ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool Cause honestly, we are all ashamed of you too Y'all are so fake, oh no The forecast said that there'd be snowflakes Whoa, you can't make us see it your way No way, gasoline and propane More flames Snowflake. They set us up to fail, that's what they built the system for Put an ammunition shop across the street from a liquor store Empowering that's women used to be different than this before The role models got OnlyFans or dance on a stripper pole Screw it, I ain't tripping, I don't mean to be mean But if our children are the future, then our future is bleak They take an Adderall to focus, hit McDonald's to eat They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep They blurred the lines dividing communism and democracy In 2021, we paint the Patriots as Nazis The men playing women's sports get trophies for winning Like great, let's celebrate a man for beating some women If you're black, your life Whoa. matters You're supposed to embrace it If you're rich or you're smart Then you're probably Asian If you're gay, then you're brave All of that I'm okay with But if you're white, the stereotype is You are a racist Blaming capitalism like that's the reason things are tough While you tweet from an iPhone and sip on a Starbucks You're supporting what you stand against You don't think you are, but A Percocet addict don't donate money to pharma Whoa. Damn dog, we're all afraid to speak the truth And the more afraid we get, the more we hate the ones who do You're ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool Cause honestly, we are all ashamed of you too Y'all are so fake, oh no The forecast said that there'd be snowflakes Whoa, you can't make us see it your way No way, gasoline and propane More friends, oh no No more snowflakes We can all get along, but there's no stopping 
everybody's wrong, that's a real problem Ay, They don't wanna hear it, but they still talking Ay, Soon enough, we running out of options Ay, This ain't gonna end till it's in the coffin Ay, We ain't gonna be friends till we try to squash it Ay, I don't know how we can make amends or we drop it Snowflakes melt when it's hot, kid Y'all are so fake, oh no The forecast said that there'd be snowflakes Whoa, you can make us see it your way No way, gasoline and propane More flames, oh no No more snowflakes They didn't do it in their house, I guess? Alright, we gotta let JP go first, Jesse And the reason why is because we're going to drown it out. So I got to get the production take first. You know what I mean? Oh, word. It's okay. only fair. Sure. Because we do this all the time. You're right. We, okay, fair we, enough. Yeah. I want the production I like, take. I'm going to go last. Yeah. Well, okay. Production. No, production I'll go last. But I want the... is, that was, it's, his shit's always sounding good. His shit knocks. It's, it's, it always sounds good. That song didn't even need a hook, if you ask me. Facts. Could have been like that. Could have been like one of them M songs where it just no. goes and goes and went, goes yeah, and goes yeah, and yeah. goes. It could have been no hook. He had such good lines and such good bars that I, I wouldn't have cared if he just kept going. Kept going. I would have been like, yep, what's next? That's yep, what's next? There goes your idea. Now you're really behind bars. That's the next saying. song. Now you're really <laughs> behind bars. Well. Yeah. He, you see what I did there? Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes like I wish, because his hooks, you know, when you listen to a lot of Tom McDonald's, all his hooks are very um, predictable, I want to say. They're predictable hooks there. Yeah, you know, but. but is that I wrong? don't care. Is that is that what a hook is supposed to be? See, no, it, no, not necessarily. What I'm saying is, is that what I'm saying is it's called a hook. It's supposed to hook you in. Like, that's my point. It's what it does. I'm, listen, I don't know, man. Yo, I per, just I'm just pro, to touch it, on that. I think that's a dope hook, man. Nah, the bars are too heavy. I honestly wasn't even. I was waiting for the next. Yeah, verse. like the hook. Was I was good. so into. No, it. But they, think they, about it. I they was, were hooked. They were bridges. I'm with them. They were just bridges. <laughs> I'm like, I just. I, I, I don't know. I think the swag of. Yeah, the fair point, but I think the swag of that hook, you know, no, I get the forecast it. said Trez that there be no, 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 no. I like after no, the first time, I was like, all right. I think that was a that was a great way to use the title, you know, no, I get it, for I get the title. You know, like it wasn't just like yeah, but, you are snowflakes, you're all snowflakes. You know, it's like it wasn't that. It's it, it was it was a creative way. I like it. I liked it, man. But, I thought that no, was the dope. song actually. I I felt like his his his. Flow and the way he was rapping was a little more hip hop than normal. Facts. Yeah. Like yeah. He, he was a lot of times. You know he's why? Almost, a lot of times he's almost talking. You know why? He because was bar heavy. He was too. bar heavy. Yeah. Yeah. When you're bar so heavy, he was like go. That is true. Like, like know, I, I feel like you, I haven't really bar heard heavy him. is what we call hip hop. Now the the newer generation, mel it's melodies, I guess. And yes. Yeah, yeah. Is more what they define as sure. hip hop, but we are still into the bar intellectual. Heavy, yeah quotient of the music which I'm not knocking the melodies I'm just saying the intellectual quotient is what we grew up on sure yeah. so I think that watching him do that with a I'm not even gonna say semi-political watching him do that with a fucking political <laughs> fucking <my> overtone <laughs> with a clear agenda I think was awesome and I think well, guess what? I was wrong because I'm like, he's going to play his card and he did it. Like, he's still somewhere holding a draw four because I'm like, what? Like, because he made enough points, in my opinion, on both sides of the aisle and he makes a general point about wokeness. You know, it's funny. So this isn't that, the first time we talked about this, though. That's yeah, a, no, it's not. But I feel like this but time... for some reason, it, something was different about this. Yeah, no, I, I'll tell I, you what it was. I'll t I can tell you. You, you know what it I was? Know. It's, it's the first time, like, people attack wokeness all the time. Right. Yeah, it's but a common thing But this is the first do. time that he's create a parallel between wokeness and being American. Like, you have to really put mm, that in perspective. Yeah. Like, yeah. And it's funny because America is a country of free speech. America is a country of all these rights, blah, blah. And, like, subconsciously, what the message I get is, like, yo, you're... you're a hypocrite because the the life and the ability to be woke is based on being American, right? Creating so problems. Like, <laughs> so you're you're so you're so happy that you have free speech that you're using it to cre create problems, for yourself. right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's so, the like, irony of it. And that's why that's the countries irony, are like really, which is beyond genius. <laughs> but I mean, I'm gonna let him talk too. But like, part of the reason why I was excited about it too is because 
And the reason why I thought he would have played his card is because, you know, Donald Trump Jr. followed him and liked it. But Did I'm he like, ever? Ben Shapiro tweeted. Ben Shapiro, but I'm like, and I'm going to let you talk about it too, but like, when I saw those two guys, I'm like, okay, what card did he play? Yeah. He, I thought he overslammed on a conservative angle, but I don't think so. I think he did what he normally does. The shit that pisses him off, he threw it on wax. And I think that it's the beauty of America. Like, even the people who like the song are still guilty of exactly oh, what yeah, he's talking about, which is the woke, which is now parallel to the echo chamber that you always speak of. Because that's what I feel like. I feel like two people can listen to that same song. And think completely differently. Well, the, How? the line of the but that's good. That's people that hate America the most are Americans. I no, but why is that? Why does that shock you? It doesn't. You know why it's Americans? Just a good line. No, it's, it's good. Here, it's some factual. Yeah, Amer- I guess so. no, it's it's a beyond the fact. The reason why most Americans hate America is that's all they know. No, it's because they have the freedom to, and that too. You in other countries, they you couldn't get countries. away with it. Listen. I'm Haitian. We had a we had a dictator back in the day. His name was Papa Doc, and then he had a son, Baby Doc. And after one died, the other one took over, which just shows you the point of you just no. Needed M&M. And guess what they did? You should have called him B Rabbit. And guess what they did? The they didn't like certain people. They just wrapped them Stupid. in. They wrapped them up, brought right. them in, and to kid, knocked them out. Right. Exactly. You didn't have you didn't have the ability to have these strong ass opinions. Political prisoners. Yes, that's what they're called. All right, so yo, go let ahead. me let me hop in first. And I'm just gonna go back to boss after this. Go ahead. Uh, I watched it. When it fucking came out. Oh, uh, you cheated. That's Fox. You guys. Piece of shit, man. Right. Well, you guys didn't throw this out, this move. idea out. So when, when you said it in the text message, first of all, like, yeah, it's first of all we usually watch Tom I had and Don together. I already watched it twice. <laughs> but first of all, we usually watch Tom and Don videos together, and that's a fact, and you know it. Yes, but we hadn't the last two or three, so I just didn't so, think that so we were So you picked the hottest video of all time. I didn't know it was going to be. I didn't the know. Hottest, you didn't know? I didn't know this one was going to pop. I'll be honest. I saw the title Snowflake, and I was like, oh, it's going to be another fake woke or something like that, you know? like okay. Which was a great song. I'm not knocking that, you know, but I'm just, I kind of was like, it's going to be the same, same old thing. thing. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like I said. And it wasn't. Like, it wasn't. It was, but it wasn't. Right. It was the no, next. No, more direct. Bro, it was the next level. So now, for the conservative end of it, that whole first verse is damn near like a playbook, like pulling a page out of the conservative playbook. But I disagree with but, that. But I, I'll tell you why, though. Okay. Because, I mean, but the problem is that people don't like hearing that. Because what he says in that first verse makes complete sense. And it's Facts. accurate. And people don't cannot comprehend conservatism as being yeah, but accurate. I don't and think I don't right think that and just I don't think you know? I think there's a mistake in believing that. And this is exactly no, no, let me, I'm, I'm gonna point this out this is the point. But go ahead. I'm gonna point out the ones is you know you you gun right activists, but you're pro choice. Uh, I, I can't think Abortion. of like the exact line, but yeah. yes, I will footnote it then. Sorry, Tom, I don't mean to butcher your lines, right? But like, yeah, your your pro choice abortion kills more babies. Facts. That's a page out of the concert. Like this is something that conservatives argue regularly, and that alone, you know, like you kill more kids than guns ever will daily. All right. Two, I think is a genius line. If America is so terrible. We probably shouldn't encourage immigration then. No, he said That's if we're so racist. Fucking no, right. He said if you're if so, we're so racist. If we're so bad and racist, racism, we why shouldn't. would we encourage right. I thought that was a tough line, it's but it's genius. It's because again, mm. it's accurate. It's accurate. If this place is such a is such a, a bad, abusive, racist place to minorities and people of color, and you know, like, then why are you encouraging all this immigration? What? Like, I agree, Tom. Like, it makes no fucking yeah, sense, that's, that's, man. That's, 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 I know. Yeah, I think, I don't it's know. a cheap parlor trick, but, yeah. but it's yes. good. It's I think a, it's a great line. It's, it's a good line. line. It's a great line. It's but a it's, great line. It's a surface line, though. It's a great line. There's no... The yeah. depth of that is they, not as deep who, as you think. People who love guns, they don't want people to kill people with guns. But, but people still kill people with guns. No, no, no. Right, right. No, no. What he's, I what see he's, what he's touching on... Yes, I get what he's saying. Is the activists. Is though... Is the snowflakes who are saying... We need to confiscate all the guns because of the for the children's safety. Okay, but here's my and question. Here's my question. Do you agree? But you're gonna stand here protesting for gun confiscations to protect the children, and tomorrow you're gonna flip your sign around and be at a pro-abortion rally. You're just contradicting. And that's like what he's shining light on. 
in this whole in this song, man. I feel like, like I think I think. And then on the other on the other end, he made history because he's the first rap artist to have a transgender in a music video. I read that. Oh, that's that was a trans. That that was a girl. That was a guy. Blair was. That, well, used to be a guy. I mean, yeah. But I, I'm pretty sure her name is Blair White. Something like You're that. Getting good at these operations. Is, I'll is, tell you that yo, right now. Is, is Blair one of those she neutral? She fucking looks good. Is Blair a neutral name? <laughs> or no, that's new name. I, yeah, I think Blair would be oh, a, maybe a, Blair neutral a neutral name. Neutral name. I'm not gonna pretend like I know anything oh. about. I do. I do. There I, was a guy named. Blair I do remember seeing the face in, because. Um, LA Law. Um, yeah. um, Apparently, she talks out regularly about uh, men competing in women's sports. Trans trans women competing against biological women in how it's called. So it's like... Uh... Um, but uh, yeah, apparently on very short notice, she uh, she agreed and, and went and did that because she liked the song. It's like Jenner. So I just think that was cool, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah.